Throughout my research, I've noticed that a lot of analog horror seems to center around childlike themes. Perhaps the contrast of innocence and gruesome imagery is what resonates with people the most. The YouTube channel Gooby is no exception to this. Gooby's YouTube bio reads, Explore with Gooby and learn about exciting things like numbers, the alphabet, shapes, sounds, and so much more. Gooby teaches everyone how to have fun and do your best. What are shapes? How many numbers are there? What is your home address? These questions and more are answered with the help of your pal, Gooby. Just from this alone, you can start to get a sense of what the channel is like. Malevolence disguising itself behind a children's learning program. The following channel was recommended to me by my friend Emma. She's a great artist and you can view her work on her Instagram in the link below. If you would like to send me an idea for a video, feel free to email me or send me a message over Instagram or Twitter. Thanks for stopping by, and please subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Gooby's first video, Learn to Count with Gooby, was uploaded on December 8th, 2023. The video opens with Gooby, who is an animated character with a somewhat high-pitched voice. The background, as well as Gooby himself, is bright and colorful. Despite this, and maybe it's just because I'm an adult, Gooby is immediately unsettling. His motions are jarring, unpredictable, almost. Gooby introduces us to the numbers 1 through 10. He then pulls out a credit card and asks us if we have ever seen something like this before. If yes, go and get yours now. The picture begins to distort. Gooby asks the audience to read the numbers on their credit card out loud. The video ends with a black screen. For a show directed at children, Gooby knows that his audience doesn't know any better. It would seem as though the creators are commentating on the fact that children's shows and video games even often lead to consumerism. Kids want the latest toy modeled after their favorite character, or more outfits in their favorite game. Let's keep going. Video 2, titled Learn the Alphabet with Gooby, shows Gooby in a similar manner as before. He walks us through the alphabet before telling us that the alphabet can make words. He then shares his two favorite words with us, which are, help me. The picture distorts as he says this. The words, help me, sound as if they are also being spoken by a small child. Help me, the little voice says again. The child screams as a distorted gooby laughs. He then signs off the video. If it wasn't clear before, Gooby is not what he seems. At a minute and five seconds into the video, the small child can be heard saying the following, He killed me. Though, I will admit that it could be saying, please help me, but I'm inclined to think that it was the former. Okay, pause for a second. This is Jacob from the future. So I'm editing the video now, and somehow I made this colossal it's not it's not that big of a deal but um i made i made a misstep here so um in the second episode of gooby learn the alphabet um at one minute and 19 seconds in we get this image flash on screen for a split second this is of a missing person's uh sheet that says the name michaela atkins now this is a young girl who is going to be prominent throughout the rest of the Gooby series. Um, we're, we're about to reference her again, but um, this is the first time that she is uh, shown in the series. Uh, so just a little bit of extra information. Okay, back to the regular video. Video three, titled Learn Colors with Gooby, begins with a heavily distorted voice from Gooby. He jolts back and forth as he walks us through the various colors of the rainbow. Blue is the color of the sky, he says. Orange is the color of an orange. Green is the color of a leaf. The comparisons then take a turn into something sinister. Purple is the color of a bruise. 
Brown is the color of dirt. Gooby then asks us if we want to know what his favorite color is. You can probably guess that it is red. And why is that? Because as Gooby puts it, it is the color of blood. Gooby says, I love blood. Do you? The footage distorts past the point of recognition. At this time, we are given a brief look at a missing persons document. It is of a young boy who, according to the birth date, is currently four years old. More of the distorted images of the boy pass by, including one of him sitting on a couch, presumably watching TV. Another missing person is shown. This time, it is a young girl from Idaho named Michaela. Positioned next to her is what appears to be the image of Gooby, only this time he is hyper-realistic with a crazed expression. Could one of these two children be the voice that we heard in the previous episode asking for help? Gooby's episode then ends. However, after the screen goes black, we see what appears to be a commercial of sorts. It shows a stop motion of a tooth being offered a handful of lollipops. When the tooth refuses them, a dark figure named Mr. Filling uses a machine with a large metal jaw to devour the tooth. The video then ends. Let's go back to the still of the missing young boy. As one commenter states, the number code is Polybius Cipher. Decoding the phrase gives you the following. Hey kids, Gooby here. Today we are going to learn about Andrew. We now have a name for the two missing children so far, Andrew and Michaela. Learn Shapes with Gooby is the name of the next episode. As if it wasn't bad enough, Gooby greets us in an even more distorted fashion than ever before. His body is now reduced to rudimentary shapes. Gooby goes through the basic shapes before introducing us to a plastic lid, a plastic spoon, a car battery, and other obscure items. He eventually introduces us to a little girl, a used razor, and toenail clippings. The little girl shown this time around is named Sophia Anthony. While she was kidnapped on a similar date to the others, December of 2023, she was a native to Sacramento, California. Gooby then asks us the dreaded question, do you want to see my favorite shape? Before we have time to answer, a montage of quick images flash over the screen. I will show you some of the highlights now. A person wearing a nightmare-inducing gooby mask. The description of the missing boy, Andrew Connor. He was last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt and black pants. A lineup of the three missing children, Michaela, Andrew, and Sophia. A verse from a science fiction book titled, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. The text in full reads, AM appeared to us as a burning bush and said we could kill the hurricane bird if we wanted to eat. Another Polybius cipher, it translates to, panic surged through the children, their screams drowned out by a cacophony of his chilling melody their hope for escape windling in the face of an insurmountable horror that seemed to have to send a life of its own. If this is another literary reference here, I couldn't find the source material. Let me know in the comments if it's in reference to something. The still of the man in the gooby mask standing with the caption reading, Do not look into his eyes. Another caption says, Do not listen to what he says. Do not trust him. He lies. The video ends with a distorted orchestral piece. Nature, trees, and a field are shown. Could we be getting closer to the location of Gooby or the remains of the children? Let's keep watching. Episode 5 is called Learn Animals with Gooby. However, the episode starts as Gooby talks about shapes once again. The voice of a child says, My favorite shape is a circle. Gooby responds by distorting. We get a black screen with the following text. I find myself consumed by thoughts of him. His antics played out vividly in my mind's eye. The name conjured images of laughter and joy, of innocence and wonder. It was the embodiment of childhood itself. 
a beacon of light in a world grown dark with cynicism and doubt. Gooby then continues the regularly scheduled programming by walking us through different types of animals. The distortion continues. However, we get another screen of text. He was a manifestation of my own desires and aspirations, being that willed itself into existence by planting seeds of creativity in the fertile soil of my mind. Deep down, I know that he's the one pulling the strings, weaving himself into the fabric of my reality, until I can't remember a time when he wasn't a part of me. We then go back to Gooby, who asks us if we love animals. A young voice says that they do. Gooby then tells us that one of his favorite animals is this. He motions to an anatomical illustration of the human muscular system. He says that people are animals too. We're not animals, says the little voice. Gooby is offended by this statement. Subtitles below read, All animals have teeth. A black screen with text appears. I was merely a vessel, a conduit through which this enigmatic being willed itself into my existence. The screen turns black as we hear labored breathing. An unseen door is opened and then closed, ending the episode. This is where things start to get a little fishy. At the start of making this video, Gooby had at least 8 uploads, one of the videos being 9 minutes long, but now the official Gooby YouTube channel only has 6 uploads. I'm kicking myself for not downloading the videos earlier but we will work with the information that we have. Perhaps YouTube has taken down these select videos due to their content. The sixth video is titled Learn with Gooby. The episode opens as usual, but this time Gooby is missing from his usual spot. The subtitles down below appear to be gibberish, a mix of various letters and numbers. However, if you look closely, the letters and numbers vary in color. Some are white and others are more gray. When you take this into account, the grayed out letters begin to spell out a YouTube hyperlink. The problem is, when you put in the white letters after the fact, no such link seems to exist. I've looked into this and theorists on Reddit seem to agree, the link is missing entirely. Believe it or not, the cryptic codes are the setup for an entire episode. Gooby is missing, but he has left behind a series of letters throughout the video. I will put the timestamps and corresponding letters here. When you put these together and type it into the search bar, it will take you to the following secret video. It is currently unlisted on YouTube. The title is obscured, reading Learn Blank with Gooby, Learn About Blank. The video starts off with a flash warning. I'll extend that to you guys as well. The Gooby intro plays before distorting. Images of the missing children flash on screen. Strange text at the bottom reads obscure phrases such as stratosphere, anchovy, realistic, elastic, butter, independent, rock, thermite, hospital, endoscope, detain, further run. We see the faces of the children. Some smile while others look afraid. These images, as well as the obscure phrases, continue throughout the entirety of the video's runtime. In typical Gooby fashion, however, there is a Polybius code throughout. At 40 seconds in, we get the phrase, Where are we? asked Sophia. We are in a beautiful meadow, whispered Michaela. This is not a meadow, responded Sophia. Remember, Sophia and Michaela are both on the list of missing children from earlier episodes. Another code at 42 seconds in reads, Hello Joshua, come play with Gooby. At 2 minutes and 2 seconds in, the code says, A sinister smile stretched across his face as he beckoned them, the melody growing louder and more dissonant. This is the extent to the code that I could see in the video. There very well could be more. Aside from that, I don't think there are any other secrets that this video has to offer. Going back to episode 6, I tried to decipher the Polybius found in the description box, 
but for whatever reason, I was unable to do so. The only letters I found are F, A, C, and E, which, obviously, when you put them together, spells face. In this context, though, the description would read, Gooby teaches face in this video. Learn face with Gooby. Gooby makes educational videos like this. Learn face video. With the amount of bizarre things that this series has done so far, something like this usually wouldn't surprise me, but Gooby seems much more intentional most of the time. What about Gooby's TikTok page? All of the posts made by Gooby are either re-uploads or shorter clips from the Gooby episodes on YouTube. The only one completely unique to TikTok is the most recent. In it, Gooby teaches us about sounds. It features a new character, similarly looking to Gooby, but with green skin. On each of their hands is a sock puppet. The character is able to emit all of the following sounds, ranging from a bird, a piano, and an airplane. The green character then makes the sound of an emergency alert. Gooby's favorite sound, as Gooby explains, is that of chaos and people screaming. That is the extent to what I've been able to find regarding Gooby. From what we know now, Gooby is the mascot for a children's television program of the same name. The show is current, as the missing children related to the show have all disappeared in 2023 and 2024. The three main children that we know of... Okay, pause here real quick again. Um, so we are going through the recap right now, and um, I noticed a couple of um, mistakes I made in the recap. This is the first one. So in the recap, I only refer to three main children. And while I do think that these three get the most coverage, there is a total of five. Uh, if we go to the unlisted video, as the images are passing by very quickly, we get the heads of five children. Obviously, we know that three of them are Michaela, Andrew, and Sophia. However, I know the identities to all five of them. If we go back to Learn Animals with Gooby, we get another missing persons flyer by the name of Abby Lang. She disappeared in January and she is from Arizona, so another uh, western state. And I believe in one of the other episodes we get the name of Joshua, which would make sense because if we go to the unlisted videos, there are two young boys and three young girls. So we have Michaela, Andrew, Sophia, Abby, and Joshua. I don't have a lot of information on Joshua and Abby, but uh, Michaela, Andrew, and Sophia are displayed uh, pretty regularly. But we know the identities to the five children talked about. Okay, back to the video. Gooby, though presenting itself as a children's show, has malicious undertones, often asking the children audience to do bad things, such as read their parents' private information. The three missing children were all West Coast cases, but not in the same state, leading to the assumption that Gooby is not a singular entity, but instead has employed the help of many, or is some sort of supernatural being. I am inclined to believe that Gooby is the latter, some sort of fantastical being that has trapped the souls of the misguided children. Children foolish enough to do things, like read their parents' credit card to a stranger. However, some theorists believe that Gooby is in fact a person. To be more specific, the person that we see in the mask right here. Gooby kidnaps the children, and then gets a sick thrill out of toying with their parents. If you have any theories on what we've discussed in this video, please leave them down in the comments below. If you're interested in following Gooby's channel, I will leave the links down in the description as well. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and if you like content like this, please be sure to subscribe.